how to build a web application from scratch. You have basically nothing. Uh, maybe you have uh, your database installed, but there is nothing else. You have uh, our software and you need to quickly build something, upload it to your website, make sure it runs, works, etc. Let's do it. A uh, new project. Let's call it uh, Dev Club. Great. Okay. Uh, let's pick MySQL here. And let's create a new database uh, on our local machine. I uh, will call it Dev Club as well. Okay. No tables. Let's create some tables. Okay. Uh, let's create a simple application. Orders. Something really simple uh, because it's not important. We what important is is to pick an ID field that is going to be our increment field that is important, and we will create all field names in lowercase and we use uh, underscore as a separator. Okay, order ID, customer, order date. Okay, let's do employee, the person who made this order happen. Again, we are not going to use any lookup tables. We're going to just replace all the information right here in these fields. We just need to create something real quick. Let me show you like a few simple SQL queries that may be generated by your application. For instance, you want to search for something like city name. Okay. Select everything from IP to location where city name is Milan. It will run for about 15 seconds. So I do not have an index on city name. I just want to show you how it works. And yeah, it's probably it was a total about 15 seconds. And it returned 230,000 records. Let's run a similar search on a country name, country name Ireland. It works much faster, though the amount of data is about the same. What's the difference? The difference is, is I have an index on country name. And I do not have an index on city name. So this is the software I use. In every software has an option to show you indexes and create them visually. You can also do that uh, using uh, SQL queries. Here's a SQL query that I used to create an index for country name. That's a syntax for MySQL. It's very similar for SQL Server. Let me show you how indexes uh, look here. You see, it shows you, you have one index. You can add more if you want to, but we're not going to do for this specific table. We will do it for other tables. 